Okay guys, let's start to work on our pop tab. As you can see, I just have a plane laid down and I have it divided into three segments on the X and we're gonna start from here, okay? So, let's go to my polygon mode and I'm gonna select those three polygons like that. I'm gonna go to loop slice. I wanna set it to symmetry, count of two, click, and now we got these two here. I'm gonna put it about, I don't know, 15% on both sides. 14, 50, 15, somewhere around there. You don't have to be perfect. Drop my tool by hitting the space bar, click the deselect. Now I have these two slices going this way. Okay, now I wanna put a couple down the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna select these again. I'm gonna hit loop slice, and I'm gonna make the mode free. Count of one, I wanna click, and that's going to give me one right down the center. And I want to off-center it a little bit to the left. Because I want the bottom to be a little bit bigger than the top. Okay. Deselect. Now we have a line there. Let's select these polygons and loop slice again. And let's put this one right up here next to it. Like so. Okay. Now as you can see how we have our mesh divided up. Now we need to go in and adjust some of these points. So, let's go to our point mode, vertices, okay, and I'm going to select this point and this point. Go to my vertex menu and hit join. Say okay. It'll join those together. Now I'm going to select these two. Let's join them. These two, and we'll join them and these two and we'll join them now we have this rectangle with some you know shaved off corners so now let's go and adjust our points inside here okay so let's select this point here first of all and I want to hit the W key and that's going to allow me to move that point so I want to bring it back in a little bit like this and I want to bring it down like so. Spacebar to drop the tool, select this point, hit the W key, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move it down, like so. And I'm going to move it back. Like so. So now we have, spacebar drop the tool, now we have this funky looking little shape here. Okay, so I'm going to select this one, hit the W key, and move it up some. Spacebar to drop the tool. Okay, now let's go down here. Let's select this point, hit the W key, let's move it up. Spacebar to drop the tool. Now let's select this point, W key, let's move it down a little. Spacebar to drop the tool. Now let's move this one down, hit the W key and select it, the same. About 75 millimeters. Like so. Okay, now we have that middle column set up. Now let's work on our bottom. So I'm going to select this point, hit the W key. I'm going to move it back in like that. And we're going to push it up like so. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. Select it, hit W, move it in. And let's push it back up like so. Spacebar drop the tool. Now we have this rough little setup. Let's go to our polygon mode. And I want to select these polygons, shift click and select these polygons, hit delete. Okay. Now I'm going to double click to select every polygon I got. I'm going to hit the X key, click in the viewport to activate it, and we're going to pull it down. About like so. Spacebar, drop the tool click outside to deselect everything 
Let's go back into our wireframe. Um, again, let's change our wireframe color so I can see what the heck's going on here. Okay, well, here we go. It's looking, it's looking okay. I have to check my wireframe out so I can see if all my points and stuff are, on, are aligned. Okay. Now we have this pop tab. So we can go in and adjust it, of course. We can select the item, hit the R key, and scale this as we see fit. Bring it down like this. Like this. Now I want to make the bottom hole a little bit bigger than the top hole. So let's select all of our polygons. Let's go up to fall off and give it a linear fall off. And I'm going to click here and drag out like that. Then I'm going to hit the R key for the scale tool. And when I scale it, you can see it just scales this end. You see. Spacebar drop the tool, but you'll see we still have our linear fall off tool. So we just go to our lists, all the way down to our pipeline, right click our linear fall off and say remove tool. Spacebar to drop everything. And now we have, let's see here, let's go to polygons. Now we have a pop tab that we can put. Of course, this is rough. This up here is way too fat for my locking. So what we'd have to do is we'd have to go in and select all these, let's say polygons. We'd select all these, and you could either try to scale it normally, like this. It's really up to you. I'm not going to sit here and mess with it too much, but I do think that's a little bit big on the end there, and I'd like to get that squished down just a little bit. Let's go to our polygon mode. Let's see what we can do here. We select some of these. Go on back around here. Select these too. Just bear with me. I'm trying to do this the manual way. Everything manual so you can see every single step of the process. And I think that's pretty much got all of them except for a few here. Yeah. Now, you can try to scale it. Like so. Or you can even give it another linear fall off. and see if that helps any which it, it does it helps me round out the tip okay there's our basic pop tab to put on top of our pop can and in our next tutorial for the pop can we're gonna stick this bad boy on there and uh, maybe do some texturing no I'll tell you what the next video we'll stick this bad boy on there if that I'm pretty sure you all can figure out how to put this in your scene on your own. Just copy and just, just cut it out and paste it in the other scene, the Coke can scene that I sent you. I'm not going to send this file in in the downloads this time because you all can make this yourself and I don't want to give you the file because if I give it to you, you won't have no need to try to practice and do it on your own. So we got our bottle tab. Now the top pop tab. In the next video, we're going to build us a studio for lighting and stuff so we can have a good render scene. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.